What are the prerequisites for broader adoption? The challenges. The challenges. Okay, fantastic. Let me do an audience question. How many of you find Bitcoin easy to understand? How many of you find Bitcoin easy to use? You're lying. <laughs> How many of you find Bitcoin easy to secure your individual wallets, to back up, to make available to your families in the case of your death or incapacity? Until everyone in this audience can do it, more importantly, until my mom can do it, Bitcoin cannot be adopted broadly. We have a lot of work to do, and that means taking a technology that at the moment is difficult to explain, difficult to use, difficult to secure on an individual basis, very secure on a global basis, but difficult to secure on an individual basis, difficult to plan for your retirement or to pass on to your family. All of these things need to be fixed. But you've got to look at it as an engineering problem, which is also an engineering opportunity. I sent my first email in 1989. In 1989, in order to send my first email, I had to download a mail client in source code, use a compiler to compile it into an executive application on a Unix system, on the command line, over a modem, on an account that I wasn't strictly speaking authorized to use, because I was 16 and I had access to the internet in 1989. You do the math. And after two, three hours of work with my Unix command line skills that I had just recently learned, I composed my first email. First, I had to find someone to send it to because there weren't that many people on the internet, and then I sent an email. And in the blink of an eye, just 36 hours later, it arrived at its destination. Now, if you asked me then, will you do your banking, your shopping, will your mom use this? Can you do video calling with your mom on this? I would say yes, but it will take 20 years. Exactly 20 years later, my mom sent her first email. And she didn't have Unix command line skills. She went like this on her iPad. That's what we have to do. Now, you can look at that as a challenge. I think of that as an opportunity. That opportunity created a multi-billion dollar industry for search, a multi-billion dollar industry for email, a multi-billion dollar industry for online services, a multi-billion dollar industry for internet service providers, a multi-billion dollar industry for tablets and mobile phones and personal computing devices, and all of the other things that we've seen. So, the person who sees it as a challenge is the pessimist. The person who sees it as an opportunity to create a billion dollar industry, I call that person an entrepreneur. And I see a lot of them in the audience today who are thinking, you know what? If I make Bitcoin easier, I build a very successful business. If I make Bitcoin easier to use, easier to secure, easier to understand, until you don't need to know how it works. So I'll turn around that question and say, you don't need to understand Bitcoin to use it. Because I guarantee you, there are not more than two or three people in this room who understand how TCP IP windowing, Las Vegas QoS properties within TCP work, how an HTTP protocol message is formed. Anybody? One, two, three. Boom, bingo. And those are the developers in the room. And we all use the internet without needing to understand any of that. Bitcoin is successful and will be adopted broadly when you don't need to understand anything about how it works, and yet you can use it, and then my mom can use it.